What's good, y'all? We're going to be wrapped in tail. <laughs> Casualty by Mothica. Uh, I've heard of Mothica via TikTok. She kind of had, had her rise of success on TikTok. Really proud of that. Um, anybody that can make that kind of hit happen is, is really impressive. Um, but I haven't seen any, well, aside from her first music video, I think is what really got her sold. Um, <clears throat> I haven't seen any other, of her other music videos and her first music video was super impressive because it was super low budget, but let's go ahead and get into this, uh, Mothica casualty. Let's get this crocky going. Just being silly. Um, all right. So let's, I mean, I already kind of prefaced it. I was during that intro. I was like, should I preface it? Or like before the intro I was like, should I preface it now or after the intro? Because I like to do things on the fly. I really hate editing, honestly. I mean, I like the creativeness of editing, like these, these um, I call them peaks. Subscribe peak, the pop-up peaks that happen in the middle. You're going to see one over here. <laughs> like, I like that, that, that sort of stuff and, like, getting it set up. But I don't like spending hours editing. I just, unless it's for a short film. Don't, don't, don't make me do it, please. I don't want to. So I'm doing this right on the fly. It's super live, super. Oh, you're going to see all my flowers, baby. So let's go ahead and get going. Um, Mothica, Casualty. Um, I popped onto this through the Rise Records YouTube page. I'm probably going to be doing a lot more videos based off of the Rise Records YouTube catalog. Uh, simply because I'm getting better views on that. Um, I'm, leaning, I'm leaning into my strengths um, because I don't want to waste my time on things that don't uh, form up some sort of success. Um, just being a smart businessman, that's all. So let's go ahead and get going. Um, Amathika, let's go. Let's see what you got. Really tasteful so far. Let's just restart that real quick. First, the ch -ch -ch, like really cool. Um, the this effect here blurred out and showing scenes like really cool too. I wonder where she pulled that from. Like, I wonder if she, it was more of like a just a creative instinct or if. She saw it on another music video. It was like, I want to do that. Like, I want to, like, that's really, in, like, I'd like to know that, but probably never going to know it. But I'd, I would have liked to know that. But uh, let's go. Changing outfits. It's almost like how Halsey was doing it. I, I, this changing of outfits thing seems to be like a fashion trend in music. Like, we're going to show different parts of me because I'm not just one thread. I'm, I do a lot. So I, uh, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know if I like it. I don't know. Unless there's more of an attention to it, but we'll see. Let's go. I do like the band into it and just, and, and the quality of the video as well. Like it's really nice, but let's go. Love that outfit too. Sorry, pausing it a lot because I'm trying to really 
there's a lot going on. So I'm pausing it to dissect, pause, dissect, pause, dissect. So 10 seconds in, we got a lot going on, and that's a good sign. So let's go. Slow motion. Slow. I'm a masochist. I get my fix from feeling nothing. Hospitals at 24 alone and self-destructive. Long nights to quiet my mind with empty conversations. Destroyed the life in my eyes. I swear I'm gonna change it. She's got a lot of pop hints in her music, which I don't know if it's a business move or if it's a music move, but personally for me, I don't know if I like it. Um, this mixing of pop and rock has never been something I've really been into, ever. Um, If you're going to be rock, stay rock. But if you're going to mix anything, don't mix pop. Look, that's like, like the complete opposite side of the spectrum. And I just trying to join these two worlds that, let me see if I can get it in there. <laughs> join these two worlds that are on the complete other side. Yeah, I, I, I can't get on board with that, but see how it goes. The thing is with Mothika's lyrical content, I can never figure out what the underlining meaning of the song is. Like, casualty, yeah, I'm hearing all these things. Um, the lyrics down here, yes. Okay, so I'm a, so in the beginning, I'm a misogynist. I get my fix from feeling nothing. Um, misogynist, sorry. Uh, hospitals... At 24, alone and self-destructive. Does it? It doesn't rhyme. Um, does in the second one. Lo long nights to quiet my mind with empty conversations. Destroyed the life in my eyes. I swear I'm gonna change. Yeah. I don't. I don't get it. Other people might. Mm, down here, which we haven't got to yet, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of, spoiler, spoiler alert, I've got to go in ahead, but, um, I can kind of understand with going back on these lyrics, what's going on now, but this has more context than all of this here, like, I don't, I, I've never really been able to have any relation to what she sings, writes, performs about. Maybe after that being explained, but it, it shouldn't have to be explained. It should be something that people relate to right off the bat. And even then, like, I might be just a weird one. I might not have these issues that she's speaking on, so... Uh, I might just be... The odd one out, the weakest link. But nevertheless, that is my take on it. Um, regardless, the music video is fire. I want to know how much she spent on it, honestly. Probably, I don't know if she's signed to Rise Records or not, but. <clears throat> no! Last I heard, I think she's just an independent, but. Six feet under, what would everybody say? I wonder. She was throwing back shots and she couldn't even talk. Just another OD. What I would have really liked, as far as the creative part of the a part of the music video, is having her alone, whether with a mic or not, having her alone. How she was doing this with her hands. Just alone in a black field, and having it, um, having almost like a sub character of herself standing there in that pose, like almost like she's standing asleep or something, and and then almost like having her 
body wither away and like have something happen to her. Like that would have been really awesome. Um, but I'm not seeing that. I love the creativity with the locations. It's just certain things I would, would have liked to see or hear or whatnot. I'm, I'm, yeah. The bummer, they say one is too many when enough is enough. These thoughts get too heavy when my heart weighs a ton. What did she say there again? My heart weighs a ton. And there's a typo. <laughs> um, these thoughts get too heavy when my heart weighs a ton. Creative, but I don't get it. Even with all the shit that I've gone through, I don't get it. And it's not it's not hitting hitting the relatable button for me, so I will say the mus the musician part of her her songs are really nice. Like that that break away from the in instrumental real quick, like right there. So like that those small touches and the fact that she understands that is super. Like she's really understanding what music is supposed to be, but I think she definitely needs to upgrade her lyrical game. From my standpoint, again, other people that are big fans of Mothica must, you know, probably completely understand it. But I, I just don't. I just don't. So, yeah. Again, the musical ability is... Not, not by any means short. I like, I really like that transition right there. Because in the beginning, in the beginning it was, it almost looked like just a, like it was just a dress. Where was it? We are at 204. We're just going to start again here. This this right here. So, it looks like she is just covering herself. Initially, I thought it was a, I thought it was just a dress, which I feel like that would have been a little bit more trans like transitional, I guess. Like a better transition in a way that uh, it's like like I don't know, like a phoenix type transition. Um but since now that I know it's just feathers covering her current outfit, it's not as impactful to me, but let's go. And that right there, I feel like the editor should have done a little better on that, on that little, little blip right there. Right here. So she's looking away, but then at the very possible last second, he looks at the camera and it cuts out. I almost feel like it should have been looking away and then right here also like initially looking away but then right at that moment look at me and have that little bit of little bit of elongated stare. I feel like that would have been a much better impression on the viewer for that, but. That outfit is filthy though, I will say. I want my wife to wear that on my wedding. Not for real though, like, it's a dope outfit. It's awesome, good choice. That little smile. That, that little smile, though. It's...
can't even hear me. She's enjoying herself. She dreamt of this moment. It's happening. And she's head over heels about it, which awesome. And by the way, this is almost a half a million views. And this premiered about a month ago. A month? Half a million in a month is pretty good. But, yeah, anyway. You know who would have been an awesome feature for this song? Bring Me the Horizon. Like, yeah, especially with how Bring Me the Horizon is moving to more of that, that sound. And I guess, if, you remember what I said earlier about rock and pop? It's just not something that usually comes together. The thing is, is you have to do it right, I think. Like, now that I'm thinking a little bit more about it in, in regards to Bringing the Horizon, because Bringing the Horizon is bringing little, little pop elements into their music, and they're actually, it actually sounds pretty good. But it's almost like it's techno more so than it is pop. If you add true pop elements to a rock song, it's just not going to sound right. But if you turn that pop into more of a techno sound, it's, it's yeah, it'll, it'll feed to the rock um, feeling and it'll actually make sense. And I think Bring Me the Horizon would have really made this go crazy. Um, but I don't know what the plans are. I, I think they might have even shared some videos on TikTok about like just being collaborative in the social media space. But like, I don't know. She may not just, she may just not be able to afford Bring Me the Horizon at this time. Um, so we might see features on that front later. But right now, especially with the views that she's getting, um, if this is a monetized piece of um, art, then she should be getting a pretty good check from this video. Um, and then maybe she could put that into either doing a, uh, like, um, <clears throat> what's the word I'm looking for? Like a uh, exclusive or a... Yeah, I can't, I can't think of the name, but like an exclusive version of the song that has features Bring With The Rise. And you would be really smart, though, if she did that as an NFT and sold it for like a million or something crazy. Because Bring With The Rise and has their fan base. They've been around forever. And it's no doubt in my mind that she'd be able to get that sold. And then it would just keep trickling. And it would create enormous... Um, <clears throat> enormous success for her on that front and even if she like put that towards made it like a uh a pitch for bring with the horizon i feel like that would be a really good idea but who knows I don't like how that ended either. I don't want to hear an oversaturated debt at the end of a video, uh, end of a music piece. Won't be casualty. That it's supposed to be the last line, but is that what I heard? Like I won't go down like that. Is what she says. that even in the lyrics let me go back yeah product of my agony but my fear the pain and I kill it twice I won't be a casualty and then, no, no I won't go down like that it's not even in the lyrics come on dog put it in there put it in the lyrics and then fix this typo up here. When? <laughs> but yeah, other than that, the 
music video is super solid um, in regards to, like, I guess the environmental filmic part of it, but there's no storyline. It's almost like a glorified version of a, a basic music video. There's no storyline. Hmm. I don't know what it is up. Like, like, I don't know why it's so difficult to do a storyline in a music video. Anywho, I, I I hope you liked that. I don't know that I did. Rating out of ten, I'd give this a seven point five. So much other stuff that could have happened. Um. <clears throat> You know what? I'm going to give it like a 7.8 because I do really like the little hints of character showing in in the video. But it's really it's definitely not an 8. Anywho, subscribe please, like the video, comment at, at Mothica if you'd like to in the comment. Um... I just tell her to at least fix those typos and add that last line in the lyrics because it's there. But um, Mothica, build a storyline. Or if you're trying to throw a storyline in there, make it make sense in the video. Like I know it's, like it's probably a budget thing. I get it. Get it. It's just... I would even go as far as not even introducing any any videographers or anything, any directors involved in it, and just delivering your idea as the director or as like bringing forth a a piece or like a storyboard of what you're looking for. Because I know you did that on your first video. I know you could do that, but think about the story. Think about something that can tie in tie the listener in tie the viewer into what you're trying to accomplish in the, in the music in the song and that, i guess that's also critiqued for anybody else like it's a really great music video don't get me wrong but like when you're not connecting with your viewers in a sense where they can relate in the video this half a million is probably from either either super fans or people that really dig you or, or I guess super fans, yeah. But like, I almost feel like that would be doubled already if it was a storyline. That that's the kind of effect a storyline can have. But here we are. Um, or I could be wrong. I could just be speaking out my ass. And just, it's just not, it's not how it would have been. She knows her viewers more than I do, so. Um, a lot of this is just thought throw up. And without knowing the variables, I can't really go, I can't be as precise as I'd like to be. It's just, this is what I saw. Anyway, again, if you liked it, please subscribe. I'm trying to get the subscribe count up. If you liked the video, what, what, why, why does it make sense? What, why would it at all make sense for you to like the video and not hit the like button? If you like the video, hit the like button. <laughs> That's why it's there. If you want to interact with me um, or want to throw out your hate speech in the comments. <laughs> That's why the comments are there. Give me any feedback. Um, take it or leave it, you know. But this was Casualty by Mothica, and I hope you enjoyed this video. Peace.